Uh, this one is about rental assistance, which has been slow to be delivered, and eviction cases are piling up, and nobody's tracking it. So this is actually a podcast uh, from the Center for Public Integrity that was published last week. I would definitely recommend listening to it. It's available here. We can the, all the links are going to be in the description afterwards and on the Substack. And uh, again, it's just how many people are potentially out in the cold. 30, 34, 35, 34 percent of the forty-five billion that they sent to states and has been distributed as of October thirty-first, and that's terrible for people that actually need it. Um. West Virginia, South Dakota, Delaware, Arkansas, slow to dole it out, and they need it more than any others. Nine billion from HUD sent to states have, have been slow to be spent. Access to information, aid and eviction cases, 44% of the money have been distributed to tenants and landlords. Of the state's $200 million rental assistance in South Dakota. Okay, which is distributed aid to more than 5,200 households with money from the federal government. Basically, you have to just pay people yep. and not make them jump through hoops to get it. Pay everyone and tax the people afterwards. Yes, and it's going to end up going back into the economy nine times out of ten. You're not going to end up with hoarding. With, right. Okay, here. You can drag a horse to water, but you can't make them drink. We'll drag them to the water, but we don't know if they'll drink. Well, no. If they're going to get assistance, real assistance, and not just loans that they're going to have to end up paying back. Mm -hmm. So definitely, uh, again, recommend that you listen to this podcast article. But there could be an, a, a major crisis happening here. Here's the, the HUD got $9 billion that only a quarter had been spent. To combat. Okay. So, wanted to give a shout out to the, the CPI. This is also another un, good, uncorrupted organization that I have started to follow more closely. Um, looking into, the, they seem to be, you know, pretty up and up nonprofit. So, appreciate their their work on this one, and we'll definitely keep looking out for this. Well, you better get hip to Indie Left. Indie Left. Indie Left. Dot news.